We've traveled down the road and we're here at the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library and Museum. This place has so many exhibits featuring the life of our 16th president, Abraham Lincoln himself. We're gonna speak with Chris, the spokesman of the museum, and have him show us around. Hello, Chris, thank you for having us out today. Hi, thanks for coming, glad yeah. to have you. So can you tell us a little bit about the history of the young Abe Lincoln? Oh, absolutely. Uh, the Presidential Library and Museum really tries you to put you into the life of Abraham Lincoln including the time when he was a boy in Indiana, uh, you know, had a growing curiosity, wanted to educate himself, wanted to learn to read and make more of himself. So his years, uh, of course he was born in Kentucky, but then his years in Indiana were really incredibly important. How about you show us around? Okay, mm -hmm. glad to. So this cabin gives you a sense of what his life was like when he was a boy in the Little Pigeon Creek area of Indiana. An incredibly important period in his life, but we also have uh, displays that show the Lincoln-Douglas debates, that show him running a, a shop in New Salem, or uh, running a cabinet meeting in the White House. We really try to put people right in Abraham Lincoln's world so they can experience it for themselves. And this is an actual cabin, it's not plastic or anything, it's uh, timbers from the Lincoln era that were uh, saved and turned into this exhibit. This is our special exhibit for the year called From Illinois to the White House, Lincoln, Grant, Reagan, Obama. And it looks at the lives of the four presidents who lived in Illinois at one point or another. So we've got artifacts from their lives. We've got uh, footage of them delivering speeches. We've got um, documents that they signed. It's, it's really an amazing look at the legacy of these four people and how Illinois shaped them and they shaped Illinois. Um, I think it's just one of the, the best things we have to offer right now and it's, it's here through the end of the year. Okay, so I noticed there's a podium over here as well. Yeah, yeah. Is this something we can go We've in? We've got a presidential podium <laughs> with actual working teleprompters rolling um, President Lincoln's Gettysburg Address. So kids and adults can stand there and deliver a speech and get a sense of what it's like to be a president delivering a presidential proclamation. Do you care if I go give it a try? No, help yourself. <laughs> Thank you. It is for us, the living, rather to be dedicated here, to be the unfinished work with which we fight for in this country. We will survive. Chris, there's so much to see here in this museum. Yeah. Is there anything else you'd want to share with us? Well, you know, our exhibits are amazing. We have artifacts and documents that you can't find anywhere else in the world. But we also have some great shows, uh, you know, theater experiences where you have uh, shaking seats and smoke and all kinds of special effects to tell you about Lincoln's life. So that's a lot of fun. And we hope everyone will come see us. We're open 9 to 5 every day of the year except Christmas, New Year's, and Thanksgiving. So there's plenty of opportunities for people to come visit. Thank you so much for having us. It's very nice to meet you. Thank you. Take care. We have a lot more to see here in Springfield, Illinois. Come along with me on the adventure.